Hey, Hades Omega here. So I'm making a video about Hades Omega's uh, electric motorcycle cooling apparatus. <laughs> so I'm gonna call it okay. So, so what I'm using right now. So, uh, well, the reason I want to cool my bike down is if if you're charging your bike, and if you're charging and discharging your 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 bike constantly, the battery is gonna heat up. Okay, this guy's gonna heat up. All right. Now it's great to have a second battery. Um, and uh, well, I used to have a bigger motorcycle that, you know, bigger, bigger electric motorcycle than this one. And I would take it to track days and it would overheat. Okay. So um, heat is the enemy of electronics. Okay. Um, heat is wasted energy. All right. And, uh, and you want to do your best to keep that heat away as much as possible. All right. The batteries, I mean, yeah, batteries in, in general, that's the one you want to keep um, cool, the coolest. Okay. Because the motor and the controller, they can they can they can deal with heat better than the battery. That's <laughs> what I say. Okay, um, when when I whenever I take my impulse to the track, it would the battery would overheat all the time. So what would what happens is on the, what happens on the impulse is uh, when the battery starts to get too hot at a at a certain temperature, it'll start uh, it'll cut your region. Okay, for one thing. So. When you roll off on a throttle, your bike will not slow down anymore. It just kind of just coasts into the corner. So you have to be ready for that. Because <laughs> uh, when you use the regen, it charges the battery. And when you charge the battery rapidly like that, it, um, it heats the battery up. Okay, So that's why it disables the regen. Okay? And, um, and it, I mean, it's the same story for the Light B. Okay? The Light B... Um, when you're at the track and you're repeatedly charging and discharging it, all right. So when you get on the throttle, you're discharging it. When you get off the throttle and you use that regen, it's charging it, okay. And then you pull off of the track, and then you plug it, plug it into the charger, and you're gonna, you know, you're trying to put some juice back in the battery. You're charging it. So whenever you charge or discharge the battery, it heats up, okay. Um, it's it's kind of wasted energy, but this is what I'm gonna say. All right, um, that's uh, but that's that's your little physics lesson right there. Okay, <laughs> um, uh, the heat is is energy being being wasted. All right, um, and and so the battery, the battery in particular, it doesn't like getting that hot. Okay, uh, from what I from what I remember, like a Toyota Prius, they say the battery wants to be the same temperature as a human being. Okay, if if you are uncomfortable, the battery is uncomfortable. Okay, if it's too cold, the battery is too cold. So not all. I mean, not only do you have to make sure the battery doesn't get too hot, you got to make sure it doesn't get too cold. Well, Hades Omega doesn't have to worry about getting cold. The getting cold part, okay? Because um, when you go to the track, or, or you're pushing your bike hard, it heats up. Okay. Um, I have run into situations where, like, I had to actually use a heater to warm the battery up before it would actually start charging okay so but uh but like this is about the heat portion okay so what does Hayes Mega do to help mitigate that heat all right to help cool the bike down and cool the battery down I use a shop fan all right so right now I got this Vornado fan all right that um it's a good it's a great shop fan it's very durable it moves a lot of air um but it kind of you know it's it's made to move a lot of air in like a large space okay it's not it's not very a concentrated amount of air, okay? And when you're outside, if you're trying to use this outside, it doesn't work all that well because it's just it's just trying to move the ambient air, you know, a lot of air at the same time, all right? So yeah, this but this is what I'm using right now, and I wanted to get a second fan, all right? So that's and that's what I got right here, so I can cool both sides of the battery while while I'm charging, okay? Or I can control, I can I can direct one towards the. Uh, the controller and the motor to keep the motor 
controller cool all right and then have one aimed at the battery okay that type of thing and so i wanted to have more than one fan all right when when i'm when i'm charging at the track okay or when i pull off of the track um, it's very important that you cool down the electronics as fast as you can okay don't don't let them get too hot all right and, and they can handle the heat but like the the cooler you can keep it the the more performance that you're going to have that's what i'm going to say okay um and one very simple thing to one very, one very simple thing you can do at the racetrack to keep your bike from getting too hot is to keep it in the shade okay don't put it don't leave it in the sun that's that's like that's the that's the that's the number one okay that's the number one rule number two is yeah have a fan okay make sure you have a fan to cool your bike down okay and this, so that's why I bought this guy um, this so this is the second second dealy that I'm going to be trying okay this second cooling fan that I'm going to be using this Vornado guy it works great I'm probably still going to use it the uh, only thing I don't like about it is kind of it's kind of awkward I think I got this for about. 50 or 70 dollars on craigslist all right i think this costs more than this is like a hundred dollar shop fan guys okay it's a very good fan okay if you need to move a lot of air into like a room that that will do the trick okay this is actually a shop fan okay this is advertised as a shop fan it's very powerful okay but i wanted to have something that can like you can direct the air more more easily okay and i didn't i so uh, where, where did Hayes and I get this from okay so i got this I got this blower. It's a rigid blower. It's a 600 CFM blower. See, it's a rigid three-speed blower. It's rated at uh, 600 CFMs here. Okay, uh, we'll take a closer look at the box in a second. And it's a it's a model AM Alpha Mike 2265. Okay, um, the reason I bought this one, there was okay. Now there was one on Craigslist. Okay, somebody was selling the 1600 CFM one. That one is like almost triple. Can move triple the air of this one hopefully hopefully this one will be enough you know i think this one moves about 600 cfm all right um but uh i wanted to buy this one because it was smaller okay the the 1600 one is it's like double the size almost man it's it's ridiculous and and i'm like i my my generator can only you know take so much uh take so much um, power you know <laughs> so so i try not to overload it is what i'm saying and i don't want to carry like a big old blower around with me okay um so i got this from home depot all right home Depot, but i did i they didn't have it at the store so i had to order it from home depot and they shipped it to me all right so i ordered it from home depot for 8737 okay i think that must be with all attacks and everything the shipping was free so 8737 shipped to your door okay that's that so that's not such a bad deal let's talk about i don't know how much have i bought one of this guy for okay and there it is all right so we're gonna go um i will we will do a practical test tomorrow okay but today uh we're just gonna um we're gonna, I'm gonna do an unboxing with this guy okay here we go i'm gonna go take a look at the box real quick before we open it all right so this is made by the brand rigid okay rigid this is a pretty popular brand all right now i think home depot sells a lot of their their uh stuff all right so there we go it is the alpha mic 2265 model all right, I think this is the smallest one they have. All right, and I read the reviews on it. It seems okay. I felt that 600 CFM might be enough. Okay, um, and it has a three-speed, three speeds. Okay, so three-speed air mover. It's a blower fan. Okay, um, Hades Mega. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. This. I I didn't talk about the uh, wh where I got this idea of, to use a blower fan. Okay, so uh, the the difference between a blower and just like a regular fan is like. A fan just has like a you know a propeller or blades you know and it it direct it, it shoots the air out you know and and like however wide the the diameter of the fans okay the the, the how wi how wide the fan blade is that's how much you know where the air is going to get thrown out all right now a blower it's like a you know just think of like a blow dryer right so you've got like a fan and it's it sucks the air in. It's kind of like a turbocharger. Think of a turbocharger. It sucks it in from the side, and it blows it out through out of the snail portion. Okay, but it's also it's also like compressing the air at the same time. It the the air is more uh, is more tightly packed. Okay, um, just think of like a leaf blower or something. You know, just you know, it's a more it's more condensed. Okay, it's a more condensed air, and so that that's you're gonna. So you're going to shoot a lot of air into one like small place. 
and that's what we need okay especially outdoors because outdoors a fan doesn't work too well okay uh, you would need a really powerful fan for that okay um, and so where did I get this idea? I got it from the Ripper 10 Superbike, okay? If you if you look up uh, on YouTube the Ripper 10 Super Electric Bike, it's a, it's a it's an Australian Superbike that some dude made and and so I was watching the video, I was watching Bruno Bruno Powers video, all right? And uh, he was he was talking about like, "Oh, he's got a he's got a bouncy house blower that he uses to cool down the bike." I was like, "Wait a minute." That's a brilliant idea. <laughs> Those are really powerful. Those are enough, you know, it's enough to inflate a bouncy house, you know, so to keep it fully inflated, you know, or it's like, it's one of those things that you've got one of those, those inflatable, like ornaments or something. All right. So, so that's where I got that, this idea from. All right. Uh, I just, I just wanted to point that out. All right. I, I, I didn't, I didn't think about it myself I mean, until I saw it. I was like, Hey, that's a good idea. I want to try that. <laughs> so, so here we are. All right. Okay, so one thing before we check the back of the box. Um, so it is three speeds and it, it also tells you how much amps it pulls for, for each one. That's really not much of a difference between each one, <laughs> honestly. So well, one point, let's say two amps. Let's, so what's two amps from a 120 volt outlet? What's 120 times two, okay, that's 240. So this eats up 240 watts. Actually, that's not a lot. Maybe this isn't powerful enough. I'm not sure. I was hoping it was going to eat up more power. Now. But so what? So when I hook this up to my generator, I have a 2,000 watt generator, and this consumes two amps. That's about 240 uh, 240 watts. All right. So so you got to think like that 2,000. You got to subtract 240 from it. So so that leaves me with about like 1,500 watts left. Okay. So, so you may over, I may overload my generator, but that's the good, that's the reason it's good to have different speed settings, okay? We'll try different configurations with just the blower and, and with the fan at the same time, okay? So, I, that might be too much for my generator to handle, okay? But I could just turn the current down on the charger too. Okay, so let's take a look at the box, the back of the box. Okay, so, uh, so here's the back of the box, uh, and, and it just tells some of the features you have here, okay? So um, it's a heavy, heavy duty induction motor. It has three speeds and 600 CFM delivery of desired amount of air movement for area drying, cooling, and ventilation. Okay, it has an adjustable grill. All right, so you can direct the air to where you need it. So it has a little more adjustability. All right, um, that I've I've seen the kind of how the way how the way you can adjust it and uh, it's yeah it's a little crude okay <laughs> so we'll say um, but but with this adjustable grill you can you can fine tune where you want the air so that's good um, two built-in receptacles with overload protection okay so that's what this is so they have the numbers here and everything um, right here they have an um, there's another outlet right here so I, you can kind of daisy chain them so if you want if I wanted to get another blower I could connect it to this one okay or or I can plug in my tornado fan do it okay so that's very good okay i like it so it kind of in, in a way it acts as like an extension cord sort of or a power strip all right um yeah so you can daisy chain up to four additional air movers to run on a single circuit for greater airflow and versatility there you go made in china okay but rigid is in st louis missouri i think mo is that missouri or montana i'm not sure i'll put a subtitle below <laughs> um and then, so it includes the air mover and the owner's manual. Okay, so there should only be two things in the box. All right, let's go take it out. Also, it has a full lifetime warranty. There you go. All right, it's like Christmas, man. So I actually wanted to get this before the the, the supermoto race, but I, I didn't have time to get it. I had to have it shipped. So you can also have it shipped to your Home Depot, and you can pick it up at the Home Depot if you want. But it was free shipping, so I was like, well, whatever. Just ship it to my house and save me a trip to Home Depot, you know? All right, there it is. It's fairly big. Okay, so there you go. You got the blower and the manual right here. Okay, and I'm pretty sure I, I I'm pretty sure you just plug it in and you turn it on. That's <laughs> pretty much it. Okay. All right, there it is. Just the blower unit right there. Um, so I think there's like a kind of cord management here. I did a little research on this guy before I bought it. 
there's a there's a lot of different brands too that you could buy that sell blowers okay so this isn't the only one all right there's a little protector here for the for the plug all right not bad anymore all right so i think when you want to stow the cable you wrap it around this guy okay this will be nice to keep cool when it's hot too in the pit so yeah, and it has a little little thing where you can attach it right there. So very good, good cable management is what I want to say. So when I when I when I'm hauling this around in the van, you know, it's not very heavy either. I'll tell you, I'm not even gonna bother weighing it, man. That's like, look at that. I'm I can pick it up with my pinky finger if I want. Nah, maybe not. <laughs> I can I can barely kick it up with my pinky. Okay, um, two fingers. I can pick it up with two fingers, no problem. All right. Yeah, so it's pretty light. It's probably like around 10 pounds or something okay guys okay so there's their outlets there is a breaker right here okay it says nine amps max okay because this is already drawing like almost two or three amps almost um there's like a warning sticker here there's little rubber bumpers here so hopefully these don't come fall, fall apart because you kind of it because if you don't have these it's going to vibrate a whole lot and it might start moving okay and then there's a, the power stuff here it eats up 2.1 amps, 2 amps, and 1.9 amps. I wish I knew that before I bought it. Maybe I wanted to buy a more powerful one. Okay, there's a grill right here. Okay, if you guys don't know how a blower works, all right, it sucks in air through here. Okay, and then and then it blows it out this way. Okay, it works a little different than the fan. Um, just think about like the blower fan in your car, right? Similar. Okay, this is how you turn it on and off. All right, it's off. High, medium, low, okay? And then there's this the grill they're talking about that it's kind of like a car grill, like the grill inside a car. Uh, like the vents. There you go. Wow, it doesn't move a whole lot, guys. That's it. <laughs> it just, they said it moves 30 degrees, okay? <laughs> that a whole lot. I'm just gonna keep it straight, okay? All right, so yeah, that should be it. Let me go. Let's go plug it in real quick, and then uh, and then we'll see it run real quick. And then tomorrow I will do a practical test. I will hook it up my bike to a charger, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll cool it and while it's charging. Okay. All right. Okay. Got an extension cord right here. We're gonna go take this out. And curl it. I do wish I do wish it kind of curled up a little better. Coiled up better. Okay, take that off. Okay. And let's go, let's just put it on the ground. And then so you guys can hear what it sounds like. Okay, plug it in. Alright, get ready guys. Here we go. Turn it on. That's max power right there. It's pretty loud. <laughs> okay, so you can direct it up like this, okay? Or you can go straight up if you want. Whoa, whoa, holy moly, dude. This moves a lot of air, okay? That's at the maximum power setting, okay? Uh. <laughs> this will definitely cool you off, okay? <laughs> Do that. All right. Uh, okay, so that's setting number two. That's setting number one. I wish I had like a like a string or something. Okay, you can use this. All right, so that's just to give you an idea of the airflow. Okay, that's number two. Number three. Okay, it's pretty loud at number three, man. <laughs> Number one is not so bad, okay? But number three, and it does move a lot of air, okay? It is directed in like kind of like an oval shape, okay? So let me put it on number two is what I'm gonna do, all right? And then we're gonna go plug the other fan into the outlet, okay? Plug the tornado in. And you guys can hear the difference between the, the blower fan Sorry about the booty shot there. All right. Okay, that's the tornado fan at max power, okay? Turn it off. All 
Alright, that's what the Mac that's what the tornado fan sounds like at max power. This is what the blower sounds like. <laughs> it's hell loud, dude. Yeah, it's definitely stuff that you it would be hard to sleep if this was on, that's for sure, okay? Yeah, I'd say on the lowest setting, it's about as loud as the Vornado fan. And I'm not gonna lie, the Vornado fan is already kind of noisy, so... <laughs> yeah. Man, this thing moves a lot of air, okay? There's no doubt in my mind that this will keep the lightning cool while it's charging. <laughs> okay? But we'll have to see on those extremely hot days, okay? Okay, and that's, that's just the Vornado fan right there, okay? There you go! It works! I'm pretty happy with it. Nice. So I don't know if we're just gonna try. Um, I would I would bring both to the track and see, you know. But we're gonna try. Uh, we're gonna do a practical test tomorrow. Um, uh, we're gonna actually use the generator to power both of the fans while it's charging at a high rate. Okay. Um, if you can keep the cables and the charger and all that stuff cool, you could definitely charge it at a high rate. You know, is what I'm gonna say. But there we go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It. And one thing I like, it's lightweight, it's portable, it's, yeah, it's lightweight, portable, it has good cable management, and it acts as like a, you know, a power strip, sort of. And, um, and yeah, it, aiming it is a little difficult, okay, so you can aim it like this, like that, or straight up, okay? And then you can use the grill to fine-tune it, okay? Uh, we're probably just going to use it like this, okay? I don't think this is going to do much, unless you put it on a table, okay? Or we can, if you can get it under the bike somehow, you can do it like that. But, but I think like that is probably going to be the most useful position it's going to be in. Okay, and like I said, you can fine tune it with that. Okay, so uh, in the next clip, uh, we will be uh, testing. We'll do practical tests, uh, field tests uh, in front of the garage. Okay, well, we'll be charging my uh, the light be up. Okay, all right. Here's me out. As you can see here, like the, it's. It takes up a lot less space than the Vornado fan. It like, I mean, it takes it takes up about the same amount of space as the fan itself, but like the the stand and the switch and everything, that stuff. The one thing I don't like about this is like it's kind of like it doesn't pack very well. Okay, this is about the size of a box, so this is very handy to have. Okay, it's pretty easy to store away. That's what I want to say. So hopefully I can use it for other stuff. Like they say, you can use it for drying paint. You know cooling rooms down and stuff that kind of stuff so I, I look forward to using it that's what I'm saying and it's very it's very light look at that I like it cool pretty happy with my purchase all right so in the next clip we, we'll go test uh we'll do an actual test oh yeah also another thing you can do for, for electric motorcycle cooling apparatus is we're going to use I'm going to bring a spray bottle with me to the track like this one okay so all we got to do is spray the the controller okay kind of works kind of like a swamp cooler sort of okay and it'll be make it'll make it more effective you can also spray yourself with it too to keep yourself cool <laughs> but yeah we could spray the motor I, I could spray behind the motor the heat sinks and everything um, I wouldn't spray the battery I mean I guess you could spray the battery um, but I think the fan should be sufficient enough to cool the battery, okay? The, the controller and the motor have heat sinks, so you can probably just spray the water on it and then blow the air over it. Alright, um, that is, uh, that's the two forms of, like, heat, heat transfer, okay? Is convection, okay? This is one of them, convection. Or, it's like when you touch something, when you, when you, when you touching something when you transfer one heat for to another source that's like spraying it with water okay you're you're using the water as like a medium to transfer the the heat okay okay so yeah all right till uh, till tomorrow as we go okay so one more test we're going to do a uh power test okay we're going to test how many watts this guy draws all right uh in in the maximum setting okay so right now, my solar, my, my inverter, all right, my, my solar powered garage is outputting 68 watt, watts, okay? So we gotta subtract, just subtract 60 watts, okay? Subtract 60 watts from whatever the number we get. And that'll be how much this guy draws, all right? So we're gonna, I'm gonna direct it. Let's direct it out the garage. Okay, that's full power. 
All right, full power and it's drawing 300 watts. Okay, that's that's kind of a lot actually. <laughs> so, well, it's 300 watts minus 60. Okay, so that's like two 240. Okay, let's put it on the lowest setting. All right, so yeah, it's about 300 watts. You can see, and then minus 260 makes it around like 240. Yeah, so that's right. I, so Hades Omega's math is right, okay? So two amps times 120 is 240, all right? And that's how much it was drawing, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna just put it on the lowest one. All right, let's see how much it eats up at the lowest. It's actually not too loud on the lowest setting. So 260, so it eats up 200 watts on the lower setting, okay? Well, there you go. Just that's just to give you an idea of the power consumption because you can we can only push so much power through that generator, okay? When we're at the track. All right. Cool. All right. Yeah. 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 I know this video is kind of more about my new blower than than the Vornado fan, but but that's what I was using before, and now this is what I think I want to use now. Okay. All right. Here's what we got. Actually, we can do a test to see how much the Vornado fan eats up also. Let's try that. Okay, I got the Vornado fan at full power, okay? Full power. Full power, that bad boy eats up only 160 watts. Okay, 100 watts. It only eats up 100 watts. Holy moly. So, literally the... The, the blower, the rigid blower eats up almost double the, double the power of that Vornado fan. Yeah, this is 100 watts, and then the Vornado fan is 240 watts, so almost double. Like, I mean, double and a little bit more. <laughs> I just want to say, okay. All right, so that just gives you an idea how much this guy consumes. So, so this thing eats up twice the power of this, but it's 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 very efficient at moving air. Okay, so I mean, both of these are, but so this one moves. I mean, it's it moves a greater area of air. Okay, this one is kind of more condensed. This one, I'm gonna say, right. And that's what we're going to need. We need to direct the air to the, the crucial part so we need to cool on the bike, okay? Yeah, so 240 watts versus 100 watts, okay? So, uh, that's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of power. All right, let's go.